Big news out from Cleantech Lithium this morning, raising money, listing in Australia. Here to tell us more, Steve, Steve Kessler. Um, Steve, with the lithium market sentiment quite depressed, why is uh, Cleantech Lithium listing in Australia? Well, we've signaled this for, for quite a long time. Now, we have uh, quite a, a proportion of our shareholders are Australian, including our largest shareholder, you know, Regal Funds, you know, holding 15%. Uh, the Australian market has got uh, you no know, deep pools of capital you know, available for investing in, in good natural resource you no know, projects. It's a mining country. There's about 31 lithium companies you know, listed on, on the ASX. So there's a, a deep knowledge you know, of the lithium you know, industry. And uh, we would expect that when people can see uh, how different we are from the conventional you know, hard rock miners in um, Australia, there's a good opportunity for them to uh, rotate into into clean clean tech lithium. Um, clearly, we've been very uh, pleased with the support we've had out of AIM. We continue to look forward you know, to that, uh, but we believe that we're going to get a much broader uh, reach into an investment community in Australia that's going to appreciate um, our company. Uh, you make some uh, compelling. You make a compelling case there. Now it's a big raise, though. Um, do you expect to raise the full? Uh, Twenty million dollars, Aussie. Well, we would like to. They say we 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 set it at at, at a minimum ten, but uh, but twenty because um, that would take us uh, no well into uh, the the program we set ourselves, which is the completion of the of the PFS, doing all the hydrogeological work and reinjection, running our pilot plant, and getting us into a position. Uh, where we're engaging with potential strategic investors and uh, and, and and off takers, and the the reception we had in in, in Australia was was very good. I spent uh, you know, a few weeks there, you know, talking to you know, brokers and funds and analysts um, in Sydney and Melbourne and 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 Perth, and and they really cottoned on you know, to to the the difference. I mean, the conventional. Um, you no know, projects in Australia are hard rock mining, you know, high carbon intensity, put a concentrate on a boat to China, uh, convert to lithium hydroxide, largely using uh, coal fired energy, but going through that uh, that that China uh, routing. Whereas here we are with uh, brine projects at the bottom end of the of the cost curve in a, a mining country, which has got a strong lithium industry already, a lot of expertise there with an FTA uh, with the United States, which gives us advantages into um, accessing um, you know, uh, off-takers there, preferential agreements you know, into the EU who want to see uh, sustainable uh, materials going to their battery you know, supply chain. And here we are going to be using renewable energy, low water con consumption, so we fit the bill of, of, of sustainability and producing you know, battery-grade lithium chemicals directly into the EU and the US markets without needing to go through through China. So geopolitically, it also uh, no, fits where no, the EU and the United States want to lessen dependence on, on, on China. So the overall story, you know, people in Australia you know, understood and, and they recognized they'd done well in lithium you know, in the past, um, but here's an opportunity to go into um, a different type of lithium project. So your assets, uh, of course, talking about a different type of lithium project, are in Chile. Um, there's still a few things for you to be getting on with down in Chile now that you're, um, you know, talking about the financing in Australia. But the Chile, the Chile is where the action is in terms of um, what's going to happen next. Um, what's the latest on the CEOLs um, and for the licenses? Well, the the administrative you know, process has, has been going on. In July, you know, the government announced the results you know, of that and said there were, I think, 83 expressions of interest um, you know, for those SILARs that can be developed by the private uh, sector. They're then going on to uh, analyze those in detail. And they say that by the end of this month, end of August, uh, there will be an announcement on what is the mechanism uh, that the government are going to use to award the uh, the sales and what are the criterion uh, which they're going to 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 use now we're very confident because you know, we are you know, just about the only company that, that has been actively working in chile we're, we're by far the most advanced not only have we declared you know, significant uh, resources we're working on the reserves you know, with montgomery and associates 
We have the pre-feasibility study underway for Laguna Verde. We have a pilot plant um, that's been producing good quality you know, Eliwood, and we're just about to turn it into you know, lithium carbonate battery grade into uh, in in the United States at the plant in in, in Chicago. Um, so we think the the, the government you now appreciates that we are the most advanced. The government wants to see new projects in two thousand and twenty six, and we are the closest to being able to to achieve that. So our expectation is that we should be head of the queue. Uh, to be awarded uh, sales by the government, but let's wait and see what they have to say at the end of um, end of this month. But clearly, we have uh, the ability to demonstrate very strong community support. That's going to be very key. You know, the, the government has always recognised projects will not go ahead unless there is com community support. And here we have um, the communities um, in the region of the of the project. Nobody living within a hundred kilometres, but uh, they are on, on the transport um, corridors expressing their strong support for the way that we're going to be producing lithium compared to the conventional evaporation ponds. Indeed, that's a very encouraging aspect of the project. Now, you mentioned the Eluate in uh, uh, Chicago. What What is actually the latest with the uh, DLE conversion process uh, that you guys are running? Well, we, we explained we've already split, split the pilot plant in two. Now, we, we've built our, our own a DLE and initial uh, reverse osmosis you know, concentration plant uh, in uh, just outside the city of uh, of Copiapo, um, and and producing very good clean uh, lithium uh, chloride eluate. Uh, but rather than building the downstream, as, as we explained before, we're using an existing you know, facility in in Chicago belongs to Conductive um, Energy. Uh, we've uh, we've shipped you know, by air you know, smaller samples, so they set up the plant ready for the big shipments to come. They've demonstrated that they can produce battery grade material, 99.75% lithium carbonate, you know, which is very good. Uh, we've uh, put four container loads of Eliwood um, sending to uh, Chicago. One has arrived, two are in transit, and one is at the port uh, in Chile waiting to be um, sent. So. In all, we would have processed oh, something like 1,100 cubic meters of brine through the um, uh, through the DLE pilot plant, um, producing close to 90 cubic meters of of, of Eliwood, uh, which will be processed, and we can produce a ton of um, of lithium carbonate, and uh, that's clearly you know more than sufficient to initiate our discussions with uh, off takers and strategic investors. So not only can we say, look, we've got a project, we've got good resources, come and have a look at the pilot plant, you can see it working, and you can go and see it in, in Chicago, you know, producing battery grade lithium carbonate, and here are samples to take away and start your product qualification process. And Steve, I believe you're um, doing a presentation this evening. What's, uh, what are the details of that so investors can, uh, can, can be aware? Yeah, no, no, no we, we, we're trying to, to reach as, uh, as many of, of our investors as possible to tell them what we're doing. Uh, one of the things we have tonight is uh, Investor Meet Company, where uh, one of our brokers, you know, Dan, Dan Fox Davis and myself, will be doing a short presentation on you know, the reception that we received in um, Australia, um, a bit more information on, on this uh, ASX uh, no, no prospectus and fundraising, give the opportunity um, for our shareholders to understand more and uh, ask questions on where we are with the, you know, the, the whole project, you know, the conversion to carbonate, the, um, you know, the uh, CEO uh, process, um, and whatever else they have at the top of their heads. Well, I'm sure your investors will be looking forward to that. Thanks very much for joining us, Steve Kessler. Okay, thanks, Alistair, as always, a pleasure.